A tragic fire in Northolm has killed two, and now the town is mourning. Haiti Clotter tells us how the community remembers the lives of those that were lost. The wind is blowing, but the chimes barely ring. At the top of the hill, there was once a house, but all that's left is rubble. According to the Kuchiching County Deputies and North Home Fire Department, a fire happened on Wednesday after midnight. Shocked, um, wondering why it would happen to a nice couple, um, how it happened, just, yeah, just very shocked. Authorities haven't released the identities of the two individuals, but the community knows who they are. According to a Facebook group titled Franklin Memories, Dr. Gordon W. Franklin and his wife, Nurse Marjorie Midge Franklin, lived in the house. Going to their house for dinner after church, um, doing stuff with the kids and just spending a lot of time that way. Um, my biggest memory of him is just what godly men him and Midge were. The Franklins work together at North Home Medical Clinic, which is now Scenic Rivers Health Services. Several say Dr. Franklin delivered them as babies and he would even make house calls. Don Jordan worked with Dr. Franklin for five years before his retirement. He um, had a gentleness about him and his faith was very much a part of his um, medicine and his life in general. He was more than just a doctor in this community. This is the house that was engulfed in flames. And days after the fire, there's still a distinct smell. I'm standing on the steps leading up to the house that appear to be undamaged. You can even see some of the things that made a house a home, like this sink and dishes. Community members tell Lakeland News that the couple's son also lived in the home but was away when the fire happened. I'm happy for them to where they are now, but sad for those of us left behind. So. I agree with what Scott said and um, they're at peace. The couple was described as short in stature but with a big heart and always willing to help anyone. In North Home, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Authorities aren't commenting on the case or releasing any more information at this time. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.